It's better than some other <laughs> facets there of the other game people. for them. Yeah. Better than their other people. It's true. Uh -uh. Bring uh, in Manny Powell now as the running back. He's, he'll run hard. Certainly will. He gets the football here, and Manny, that's just, that's just <laughs> power on power. Yeah. They made some good adjustments at the half. Yes, they did. They're, they're running to that tight, that unbalanced, that too tight. There was two tackles over there in a wing. Manny Powell stays in there and hand off to Manny Powell again. Manny. Run the same still play. Pushing forward and trying to gain some extra yardage at the end. Same play. First half, they were trying to be too fancy here. Just. They got some power over there, that's for sure. Brings up a third down play now for McKinley to the Maslin 25. Big play here. Oh, here Keeping he Keeping his Wesley. Wesley makes a nice oh. cut and then gets enough for the first down, yeah. I think, just at the end. He was stopped in his tracks there and got past it. Isaiah Clark, the one who eventually brings him down the safety. He really does. He really does get hit here. Wow. Mike Miller had Whoa. him there and then yeah. Clark came in. But Mike Miller did a good job of containing him. He kept him inside. That's that defensive end. Mm. He had an impressive first half. Yeah. He and the other kid, number two, they're, they're good football players. Best penetration of the night for McKinley since the opening drive. Hand wow. off Manny Powell, and it continues for the Pups. A commanding drive for them, their first drive of the second half, and through a penalty and through rushing the football, they look good so far here to start this half. I'm impressed, Elmer. I will take a timeout. McKinley on the move. Can they cap it off when we come back? We find out. Now is new. Altman Immediate Care is now Altman Now Urgent Care. Walk in, get care, and go home. The average turnaround time is less than an hour. Now is new. When your doctor's office is closed and you don't need the ER, choose Altman Now Urgent Care Center. Altman Healthcare providers treat minor injuries and illnesses, such as flu and fever, sprains and strains, upper respiratory infections, and sore throat. Now is new. Now open at Washington Square from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The new Altman Now Urgent Care. Now is new. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Whether you visit our main office in Erie Street South, our downtown Maslin location on Federal Avenue, or our Canton office on Whipple Avenue in the Acme Fresh Market store. Our friendly staff is committed to serving all your financial needs. Now more than ever, it's time to bring a friend into the family. At AltCare, you matter. When we answer your call or meet with you in person, you are the top priority. We work with your physician, pharmacy, and over 7,300 other providers. We want to be your trusted resource. We invest in collaboration, our youth, and our community, which we will continue to serve with gratitude. Commitment and community were the reasons we started over 30 years ago. And why we are still here today. AltCare, where, where you, you matter. matter. And we return back into Paul Brown Tiger Stadium in Maslin with the McKinley Bulldogs on the move right now. As the score is Maslin 14, McKinley nothing on our old Carolina Barbecue Company scoreboard. Been impressed so far with what McKinley has been able to do here to start this half. Well, starting to even things out a little yes, bit now, are. Elmer. Yes, they are. They really are. Let's see what they've got here. They have it now on the Maslin 11 yard line. They're they keep Manny Powell as the running back. They're going to run it up inside. First and 10 at the 11. Don't Keeping his Wesley. Oh. Wesley makes one move, makes another, gets to the edge, and nearly broke that for the score. He was close there. It was dangerous, though, what he tried to do. <laughs> <laughs> Should have gone in. Yep, he should. There was a there was a canale there. They're on the eight yard line now. Second and seven there. Manny Powell stays in the backfield with Wesley. 
Hand off to Manny. Manny up inside there. Manny keeps That's going. Up. Did he reach? And he did. An eight-yard touchdown run by Manny Powell, but is a flag down. There is. It appears as though there is. Thought I saw something there. Nope. No flag. An All right. One of those optical illusions. It looked like I saw something that's yellow there on the ground, and it looked like a flag, but it's not. It's some of these shoes. Could be. <laughs> but Manny Powell from eight yards out. Here's the run. He wouldn't be stopped here. He's a tough kid. Tough kid. It's been their big adjustment to start this half. The extra point now by DeMonte Marshall. Good snap, good spot. Good. And a good kick. All right. McKinley right back in the ball game. It's getting interesting now here at Tiger Stadium. 131st battle. It's starting to become a ball game now. After Maslin was just far better in the first half, McKinley comes out and makes the adjustments there that they need to. They're running power to that, that long side. Running off tackle and running outside. Like I say, they have that big tackle in the number 72. Yep. As the second tackle, run at him. Well, that's Stefan Monahan, and he has Division I offers. Oh, he's a big kid. <laughs> he he's is. only a junior, isn't he? He is 6'8, 295. <laughs> I knew he was big from the. The Jackson game. All right, I now, didn't think he shrunk. So <laughs> now, how does Maslin respond here? By controlling the ball, like they have been. McKinley's defense has risen to the occasion, though, yeah. since the early part of the game. Give them credit; they played well. And as we talked about many, many times, that momentum thing. Yep. Mo, Mo. He's, he jumped on the dog's back. He did. Spectrum Orthopedics brings you this kickoff now for McKinley. Demonte Marshall going to kick it deep. And it's a low uh -huh. kick. And Jay oh. Wise fielded it, and then he dropped it, but he got back on it. Get to that drive summary now, Elmer, brought to our viewers by Sarda. Nice uh, number of plays on this. Number of plays, 14 time of possession. Four minutes and 16 seconds. Total yards, uh, 87 in all of them on the ground. Yep. It ended up with an eight yard TD run by Powell. Extra point good. Maslin 14, McKinley seven. Let's see what Maslin can do here so they can counter. Impressive start to the half for McKinley. How does Massling counter, though, as Elmer said? Mm -hmm. Martavian Johnson in motion. Hand off to Wiltrell Hartson, and Hartson with some room that time. Not too, not too bad there. Not too bad. They picked up eight. Do you lob one deep here? Take I don't know. Chance. They had the one opportunity in the first yeah. half. and it's, Like you said, he probably held on to a little bit too long. Just a bit. They have Ballard top of your screen there. Wilson, Lamp, and Johnson bottom of your screen on the second down. Hand off to Wiltrell Hartson. Whoa, Hartson with first down. a big hit in there as that was Brian Pickney who came in for the hit. And Jamar Barsik was also there helping. The linebacker is Barsik and the safety is Pinckney. First down from Aslan though. Tavian Johnson in motion. Hand off Wiltrell Hartson, and Hartson again runs hard. Picks up some more positive yardage. Now, the other weapon to keep in mind for Maslin Elmer is not only is their punter good, but as I said, Alex Bauer is a long of 42 this year as a field goal, and he's 7 of 9 on his field goals this season. Wiltrell Hartson there, Elmer. 17 carries, 121 yards. That's a sophomore in the biggest game of his life. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Nick Liebler now in the backfield with Catrone. Hand off Liebler. Liebler with a big hole. Nick Liebler off and running inside the 35. Liebler picks up the first down and celebrates. 
They're countering. That guard trap again. The old mouse trap play. There it is. The Second old day in a trap. row. The mouse trap comes back. Down to the McKinley 33 yard line now. Man in motion is the tight end. Just and on block again. Liebler, that time he was stopped. Manny Palin there. Game we have going on right now, Elmer. This is Woody Hayes, Bo Schembechler style football. <laughs> yes, it is. Hat on hat and just try to beat your guy. Plus the clock keeps going. It does. And Quick game. Home, and we get home at a normal time. We do. We do. <laughs> and Bob, he gets home in two minutes. That's right. He's He's got the quick drive to Perry yeah. from here. <laughs> Hand off again for Liebler. And Liebler oh. breaks free again. Nick Liebler running hard. Boy, they're just. Now, if you're Masson, do you do anything different? Heck no. Nick Liebler says, keep feeding me. That's right. Don't do anything different. Don't do, don't out coach yourself. You got them. You, you, you got them with their hands on their hips and. Another play coming up here for Maslin. Trap. And off Nick Liebler. Oh, he Liebler, went outside. after nothing really doing there, breaks a tackle and gets some positive yardage again. He might have hit that too wide. He says to keep giving him the ball. Yeah. He, every time we see him, he's, he's saying, feed me, <laughs> feed me. <laughs> he wants it. He wants the carries. Yeah. Down to the 17 now. Guess who? Liebler. Nick Liebler inside the 10. You know, Liebler's doing a good job of running, but those guys up front are making some holes. That Flag guard is in. trapping, and he's knocking people down. Flag came in on that play as down there was Michael Billman for Maslin, the tight end. Where's the flag going to go? Personal foul on Nehemiah Stovall, the defensive lineman for McKinley. This just seems like one of those commanding drives from Aslan Elmer, the defining drive of the game for them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we talked about McKinley coming down, and oh, that's probably all this half. Just about. 21 in the first half, so 45 of that on this drive, basically. And he's going to get, I think he's going to get the ball again. Gets it again. Nick Liebler backing in nope, inside the two yard line, close to the one. Brings up a second and goal now. Ball at about the one. Boy, they're doing a, doing a good job up front. Yow. They're huge. They, but they make contact and their legs keep driving. I think Liebler gets it again here on the second and goal. He deserves it. There's Liebler. Liebler, yeah. touchdown, Maslin. The Tigers with a commanding drive. All on the back of Nick Liebler. Zero passes. Yep. Zero passes. They said, Nick, we want to give it to you, and we'll let you take care of it. Great shot from boy, our end zone cam there. Boy, their offensive line comes off the ball. Bauer to kick the extra point now. God, Nick has a beard. He does. He may be too old. Got to check his eligibility. <laughs> and Alex Bauer still perfect on the day on extra points and on the year. Commanding drive there by Maslin, as I said, and we will take a break here. The Saturday All Care TV game of the week, the Tigers come right back. There is something special about our community. It's a feeling, a spirit, and you can sense it and see it in everyone who lives and works here. Everyone in our community matters. You matter. It's a simple concept. Yet its message carries a great impact which we all need to hear. Every conversation, each pay it forward message can have an incredible impact on someone else's life. It can start with just two simple words. You matter. You matter. You matter. 
powerful and playful, delicate and precise, bold and carefree. It's the way your hands, elbows, and shoulders move. At Spectrum Orthopedics, our skilled hand and upper extremity specialists offer custom treatment plans with cutting-edge surgical innovations. Our state-of-the-art building offers in-house MRI, surgical center, and physical therapy center. Spectrum Orthopedics, your leader in orthopedic care. You've got one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. The ride to work you've been waiting for is here. Sarda's Success Express service to the North Canton Industrial Park. Just hop on the Success Express at the Cornerstone or Belden Village Transit Center. And we'll get you to work on time. At Cintas. The Hilton Garden Inn. Fannie Mae. Or Special Pack. Even if you start as early as 6 a.m. Visit SardaOnline.com to learn more about the new, fast, affordable way to get to work in the North Canton Industrial Park. Sarda's Success Express. We're going to work today. Need a ride? We return back in here to Maslin with the Tigers leading 21 to 7 now. After a really nice drive of their own, McKinley had come back and scored, and now Maslin comes right back with a drive of their own, and that was classic football. Two straight drives where everything was done on the ground with short yardage. Now, how will McKinley respond? The question was, how will Maslin respond now? How will McKinley respond to this? This is the ball game coming up here for McKinley. I really believe Could be that. If they put drives together like that. That was a two series. Haynes puts it in the end yeah. zone there. Go ahead, Elmer. All right, number of plays, 10. Time of possession, three minutes and 50 seconds. Total uh, yards, 68, all on the ground, not one pass. Uh, one a yard TD run by Liebler, extra point good. Maslin 21, McKinley 7. Bob on that first drive, what was it, 14? That was 14 on that last drive? Yeah, by McKinley, 14 plays. 14 and 10, 24 plays. Yep. Rushing yards in the game right there, Elmer. Wow. Passing yards is both teams under 20 at this point. No one has thrown a pass in this half so far. Why would you? <laughs> <laughs> Injured player down right now for Maslin is Austin Brawley. You know, you consider this rivalry that goes through generations, Elmer, and just the fact that, you know, you can look back at 130 before this and all of them <laughs> great games. There's a look at the passing numbers. You just know this is going to lead to a classic coming right down to the yeah. end here. <laughs> That's so uncharacteristic of today's football. You it know? is. Both <laughs> these teams want to run the football, though. It's we what they do game, best. We had a game last night that they never huddled. That's right. <laughs> Green didn't huddle. <laughs> First and 10 for McKinley at their own 20. All Maybe, right. Here, what are we going to do here? Maybe McKinley is the one that breaks that passing drought. We'll see. They have Rob Jones again there as the running back with Wesley. Keeping his Wesley this time, Elijah oh. tries to break it, gets away from one tackle and can't get away from Andrew Wilson Lamp. Wilson Lamp came in from his corner spot and made the play. He's going to West Virginia. under a minute and a half left in this third quarter and McKinley has a second and 12 on their own 18 and passing has not been a thing in the second half neither team has had to throw a pass yet handoff Rob Jones oh, there's Jones oh no what a tackle he had a seam there for a moment and again Martavian Johnson came in and made the tackle from his corner spot he has made two great tackles this, this is one of them. <laughs> yes. He just comes in. Look at this form. Whoa. 
perfect. He's a good football player. I mean, he it, really is. He is a great football player as a corner. There he is right there. Could be working towards a player of the game. We'll see. Made some nice tackles. Sure has. Third down play here, third and nine. Does McKinley have to go to the air? I believe so. Wesley wants to throw a ball up for grabs. Was it picked oh, off? Nope, it nearly nope. was. It was tipped at the line by Maslin, and then we tipped it. we'll see. Might have been, won't speculate, I'll wait for the replay here, but Caden Woolard made it. He was the one who deflected it. Let's get a look at it right here, number two. Yep, got his paw up there. <laughs> he ain't bad either. He could be our player of the game yes, today, too. He could. <laughs> He's all over the place. Sure is. Let's the game just come to him. Or he goes, chases it. He does. Yeah. <laughs> now we'll see if Martavian Johnson can be dangerous on a punt return again. Had an opportunity earlier and took one back, but it was called back on a penalty, and McKinley doesn't give him the chance. 12 seconds left here in this third quarter. Do you go over the top right now and try to catch McKinley sleeping? Yeah, that's a that's a thought. <laughs> but do you get away from what you're doing well? Controlling the clock. At this point, you don't have to. You don't have to do, right. Just keep doing what you do best. Don't not coach yourself. Yeah. Don't not coach yourself. So they'll now they'll throw a, a, 50, a, a 50, 52 yard bomb. <laughs> That's what it would be uh, yeah. as they have it on their own 48. Ballard, top of your screen, might want to watch his way. Hand off though to Wiltrell Hartson and Hartson, the sophomore, again with a hard run. That should end this third quarter. We're through three, both teams scored in that third quarter. We'll have the final period of play at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium right after this. When designing the Honda HRV LX and Sport, we thought, why not make them adaptable for big stuff and small stuff? And why not nimble, tight corners kind of nimble? And why not smart, not just street smart, tech smart? And why not end with a statement that brings it all together? The HRV. Stay connected to what matters most in life with MCTV Internet. We deliver fast, reliable service so you can spend more time streaming your favorite shows, chatting with family or friends, or racing past the competition. Plus, with MCTV's Wi Fi, you receive strong signals from anywhere in your home. Upgrade your internet today. Give us a call or visit us online. MCTV, we go the extra smile. Y'all know it's football season. Around these parts, football season is barbecue season. If you want to score big on game day, make slow smoked Old Carolina barbecue your go to spot before, during, and after all the games. No need to cook on Friday. Meet before the game at Old Carolina or grab a party pack and host the ultimate college or pro football party featuring award winning ribs, tender pulled pork, and jumbo smoked wings. We have options for all your pig skin pig outs. Get more info at oldcarolina.com. Old Carolina Barbecue Company. Meet before the game. Life's all about delivery, whether it's delivery of your favorite pizza, how you deliver a great punchline, like why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella, Bo Drizzle, or how your credit union delivers excellent service every time. Well, yes, that's exactly what I mean. At CSC Federal Credit Union, we do deliver the same great banking as the other guys. And the icing on the cupcake is we're not some out-of-town bank. We're local and in the Stark County community. Bank local at CSC. Start of the fourth quarter, look at the uh, Maslin flag there and then some of the highlights from that quarter. Impressive drive to start for McKinley and then Maslin has really taken advantage since then. And it was that that capped off the drive. Nick Liebler had the plays of the third quarter really for Maslin. Zach Catrone, the young man who you see right there, the senior quarterback, he hasn't had to throw the ball tonight. Troy this afternoon. 
It is. You're right about that. He's only throwing the ball six times. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. And for Barbara. False start on Maslin there. You know, it'll be interesting to note, if McKinley could get a stop here, they can still be in this. If Maslin scores, I'd say that's the ball game. I know there's a full quarter left, but down 28 to seven against Maslin's defense. Well, the, like I say, they, they've only put one drive together on them. They have. Hand off again here, Wotrell Hartson, and Hartson gets it all back <laughs> after the penalty. Plus. He does. Plus. Picked up seven. Wotrell up to well, over 130 yards now, I think, by our count from Bob. 132. And he's only a sophomore, ladies and gentlemen. And he wasn't the starter entering today. Barely had any rushes on the year. And he's just had no problem with coming into this game with Raekwon Vinson, the senior, down. Third down play here. Wanting to go deep is Catrone. Wilson Lamp is out there. He caught it, and it's enough for the first down and a lot more. Nominee for a rock solid play of the game, Andrew Wilson Lamp, the young man headed to West Virginia, finally makes his presence felt. It's a good ball. Nice throw. So now with Maslin down to the 14 of McKinley. Patron gives Hartson oh. up the middle. Hartson, touchdown, Maslin! 14 yard scamper by Will Trell Hartson, the sophomore. I want to tell you what, number 63, I think it's 63, the left guard. 65, watch this block. Boom. He's been clearing away all game. That's John Kuth at 6-1 and 3-20. He has 16 offers, Elmer. Does he really? From different schools, yes. He is a, he's the guy who's been pulling the whole game. Yep, he's a big boy. And he's good. He's very good. He hits and keeps his feet going. Alex Bauer's extra point is good, and just like that, Maslin might have taken final command. Hey, there's a look at the two together. Hartson and Kuth. Hartson should buy him a pizza tonight. He should. He should go to our truck. We have a lot yeah. of pizza left from the Waco market down there. But I don't know, as big as 65 is, I don't know if we have enough pizza. I don't think we do. No. We'll have to hit Smith's up for the big party pizza, a couple more. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say this too. You know, we were debating who our player of the game was. This is a kid in Wiltrell Hartson who hadn't started this year, and he's a sophomore, and he's come in, and he's just been an animal this afternoon. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you what, 65, I know we don't give it the lineman. <laughs> but he's been pulling all day. <laughs> but he has been making some canales. Well, it's not hard when you're, you know, 6'1", 320, but... His technique is good, isn't it's it, It's perfect. I mean, he hits in his feet. You watch a lot of these big guys. They hit and their feet stop and they just kind of push. He hits and his legs are driving. Oof. He's a player. You wouldn't have wanted to block him, would you? Oh, I didn't block him. I went on my team. <laughs> I'd feed him pizza. Magnus Haynes kicks it deep here. This is Jonah Lytle on the return for McKinley. Lytle trying to find the edge and goes Still out of on. bounds. That drive summary there, Elmer. Okay, number of plays, five. Time of possession, one minute. Total 52 yards and a 14-yard TD run by Hartson. Extra point good. Masson, 28. McKinley, seven. We're going to find it out here in a bit, but, I mean, Wotrell has to be approaching 150 on the game. Can McKinley respond quickly? That's the question. They have to, don't they? They're down by three touchdowns. First and 10 for McKinley. They have it on their own 27. I mean, they have pretty good isolation up here. The safety's up tight. They have a one-on-one -on -one over there. 
Keeping is Wesley. Wesley not brought do down it. in the open field. Jaden Wise. You're not gonna. You're not the gonna. linebacker. Entered the game with seven and a half tackles for a loss and says, give me another one. Maslin does a great job of containment. They keep things inside of them. Every once in a while, McKinley will get outside them, but majority of the time, they do a great job of containment. Keep it inside. Keep it yep. inside. Let pursuit get to it. They're just a good football team, Maslin. They're, they're, they're very well coached, and they're doing a good job. And off again, no play fake this time. Wesley wants to throw deep, looks downfield. This one is up for grabs, nearly picked off by Austin Brawley. The you safety know, was right there. With this unbalanced line that McKinley's running with no tight end, they only have two guys going out. They're going maximum protection, okay? They got eight guys in there blocking. And they're sending two men out for a pattern. That's That's... That's tough to do. Does that mean that they respect Maslin's rush? Yes, yeah. their defensive line. I mean, they're keeping the back end there in the block. Yep. Plus, they take the tight end out and put a tackle in there. Well, now they have a third and about 13. They need a first down in the worst way, and they take a timeout. You know, it's not like 72 can get you deep, get deep on you. No, no. <laughs> At six eight, you five, know, I mean, they're just five hundred pounds. I think you know we talked about this in the first half a lot with Maslin and just how they're just so fundamentally sound. I mean, you know, they just they just yeah. continue to make plays. We go down to the sideline, bring in Frank Salona again into our broadcast. Frank, all right, thanks, John. You know, guys, I wanted to ask Elmer this question with with Maslin being so hot in pursuit, with the way they're coming after the quarterback, wouldn't this be a great time? Maybe not on third and 13 when you re really need it, but for a screen pass and maybe uh, get that defense a little bit off balance. Frank, I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, you know, a screen play is a, a great alternate. Um, but they haven't tried that. And when they did try it, wasn't it batted down by three? Yeah, you got to get it uh, over Willard's head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Frank, Maslin's impressive. Yes, they are. I, they I tell are you what, impressive. <laughs> they they have some athletes. Uh, I'm really really impressed, guys, with the game plan they came in with yep. today, uh, with the backup running back, the way they have uh, really run the football and just thrown when they wanted to, and that's yeah. uh, really what it came down to. And these two defensive ends, boy, they're they're players. Their defensive line's good. Third and long here for McKinley. Here they, here they pull. Wesley, yep. quick throw. This one is caught off of the tip. And with the catch was Dejour Garrett, but again, it was batted at the line. Second time. And their two best receivers are in the short side of the field. There were two guys that batted that. Jaden Wise was one of them, and just, <laughs> they just have pursuit everywhere. Yes, they, they do. do. They're well coached. Their secondary is very well coached. Boy, they come up and make great tackles, and. Their everywhere is very well yes, coached. Yes, they are. Very impressive. Sad will Very impressive. Kick this deep, I believe. Back deep One is of Martavian Johnson, and Martavian going to run under it, and Martavian spins, but then he's brought down in the open field. All right, we'll take a timeout. Maslin in command right now. Can they add to it? We'll find out next. From morning coffee runs to family trips, away games, campouts, and weekend projects. No adventure is too big for the Honda lineup with available all-wheel drive. Contact your Honda dealer to learn more or shop online. Now is new. 
Altman Immediate Care is now Altman Now Urgent Care. Walk in, get care, and go home. The average turnaround time is less than an hour. Now is new. When your doctor's office is closed and you don't need the ER, choose Altman Now Urgent Care Center. Altman Healthcare providers treat minor injuries and illnesses, such as flu and fever, sprains and strains, upper respiratory infections, and sore throat. Now is new. Now open at Washington Square from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The new Altman Now Urgent Care. Now is new. The ride to work you've been waiting for is here. Sarda's Success Express service to the North Canton Industrial Park. Just hop on the Success Express at the Cornerstone or Belden Village Transit Center. And we'll get you to work on time. At Cintas. The Hilton Garden Inn. Fannie Mae. Or Special Pack. Even if you start as early as 6 a.m. Visit SardaOnline.com to learn more about the new, fast, affordable way to get to work in the North Canton Industrial Park. Sarda's Success Express. We're going to work today. Need a ride? We got to get Bob singing that. Turn out the lights. Double reverse here. No, no a no. keep by Martavian Johnson, and Johnson kind of fooled everyone. He probably should have given it to Ballard there. Ballard would have had space to work with. Here's the amazing thing about Maslin today after that nice pickup on first down. Ballard is a Ohio State commit. Wilson Lamp is a West Virginia commit. They've been practically out of this game completely. They haven't yeah. done much of anything. Yeah. Ballard has one catch. There's Will Trell Hartson, though, as he's on the field again here. Does he gets the ball? Back to throw is Catrone. Looks over the middle nice. for Ballard. Ballard is there. He almost he brought, it. brought it in. Oh, I thought he did. He was in double coverage there and still Boy. almost brought that down. I can't believe that's not interference. They were holding on to him. Pinckney, the safety, and Lytle, the corner. Boy, this is a nice throw. He almost caught that. He really <laughs> almost caught that. That's amazing. That's why he's going to Ohio State. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, their receivers do that all the time. They but do. They make the catches with two guys on them. Yep, they do. Third and one. Hartson remains in the backfield. Does he get the ball? He does. Will Trell adds to his day should be over 150 yards now most likely on that carry that's probably the last pass we'll see the rest of the day you think so i think so 150 yards exactly now for hartson <laughs> that's on 21 carries bob yep 21 carries it's a pretty good average too and off Will Trell Hartson. Trell. Big hole. Will Trell says, see you later, McKinley. Touchdown, Massillon. Nominee for a rock solid play of the game. Will Trell adds his second score of the day. Well, Massillon did something different. Their right guard pulled the draft. <laughs> and had a Canale. Wow. A sophomore on the biggest game of the year where everyone is watching, and he's the one that comes through and makes the plays. And John, I know you're raving about the running backs, but the, those two guards are making some gigantic holes. That's impressive. Alex Bauer now to kick the extra point. And the kick is up, and it is good. Will Trell Hartson. Been the story of the game this afternoon. He's just, I mean, what can you do? There's his day, Elmer. Not bad. I wonder, <laughs> if, I wonder if he can get 200. Uh, if they get the ball that'll back, be again, a he will. that'll be in the record book sometime. It would be. Where's that? We need like somebody uh, in a historian on this game. To, what's the most yards? Uh, a lot more than that. A lot more. I think Travis McGuire over 300 oh. back in 91. 300. He had 303, I think. Oh my goodness. He probably slept that night. I, my guess is yes. That's that's a uh, that's a you earn the sleep kind of night. Yeah.
Kickoff here by Magnus Haynes. Heads the way of Jonah Lytle. Lytle. Penalty. Tripped on fall? the field there. He did. <laughs> Holding. Holding on McKinley. Spectrum Orthopedics brought you that kickoff there. Go ahead, Elmer. All right. Number of plays on that drive was four. Time of possession, 39 seconds. Total yards, 51. It ended with a 37-yard TD run. Uh, ex uh, the extra point was good. Maslin, 35. McKinley, 7. Just looked it up, Elmer. Will Trell Hartson on the year entering this game had 17 carries for 74 yards and just one score. Well, that young man is making a name for himself. He is. And if, you know, if, if you're ever going to get your name be mentioned with the great ones, have it in a big game. Yeah. Have it in a big game. Absolutely, especially this one. Yeah, especially this one. When the world is watching. They'll be talking about it 20 years from now. Drinking root beer. They will. Wesley wants to throw, looks downfield. That one, <laughs> again, should have been picked off by Andrew Wilson Lamb. Man. He can't believe it either. Boy, <laughs> Kinley's just walking around and looking. You know, Elmer, I know that they came out and they scored to start the half, but how much did it hurt on that first drive when McKinley had the ball to start the game? They went 81 yards on the first play and then fumbled at the very next play. Oh, what does it, that do? I think it really hurt you. I mean, especially the first half. But then, like you said, they came out the second half and drove right down and scored. And then. Second and 10 on their own 13 here, and Wesley has to throw again, trying to step up. Boy, look trying at to run now, look trying at to get downfield. And, and brought down by Jaden Wise as he went out of bounds. Boy. Flag, I believe, came in uh, at the last moment. Uh, I don't know about that. Probably a late hit. Uh, hit out of bounds or something. Well, but Wesley I'm not is sure. down. Wesley is down. He appears to be hurt. Uh, I don't know. Do we have that play again? We'll see. Jaden Wise, the one who's responsible there for the penalty. There we go. You don't think that was a penalty? No, not really. They have a short sideline over there. Yeah, it's a short sideline. I don't know if it was a penalty. It didn't. So Elijah Wesley down. Yeah. See him there on the sideline. But McKinley is running out of time. All right, we'll take a timeout with Elijah Wesley down. McKinley uh, or Maslin up 35-7. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Whether you visit our main office in Erie Street South, our downtown Maslin location on Federal Avenue, or our Canton office on Whipple Avenue in the Acme Fresh Market store. Our friendly staff is committed to serving all your financial needs. Now more than ever, it's time to bring a friend into the family. Pain is the enemy. Motion is victory. So the Spectrum Orthopedic Team replaces knees and hips. We mend spines. We heal arms. With brilliant technology and simple human kindness so you can go home faster and happier. You have one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. At AltCare, you matter. When we answer your call or meet with you in person, you are the top priority. We work with your physician, pharmacy, and over 7,300 other providers. We want to be your trusted resource. We invest in collaboration, our youth, and our community which we will continue to serve with gratitude.